rook frame. So I attached the legs to the rook frame. And then the next step I did is I took my bearings. I put this on a flat surface, obviously not this surface. And then I slowly tap them in. You don't want to hit it too hard because you will crack the side frame right here. But if you tap them in slowly, the clearance should be perfect for, for the bearings. So the bearings are put in place on the back over here for the feet. I ended up putting um, M5s and there was enough clearance in the holes over here that it was tight enough that it would hold with just some basic M5s, uh, M5 by 16s. Obviously this goes on top and then we have the top frame and the rails are coming soon. Uh, I have to still cut them but the rails are coming soon.